And now for everybody's favorite segment, Built for Drag and Drive, brought to you by our friends at Sweet Patina with the TKO hand cleaning wipes. Make sure your hands are clean while working on these cars. Let's revisit some cars that we have discussed earlier. Polly Castiglione's Challenger. Uh, the block is good. The crank was not, sadly. So he has a new 440 source crank on its way and also in transit is a set of Cali's Ultra Duty I-beam rods. Red Hat Scotty, the rear axle is in Plan B Mustang. It actually went in without a hassle after that car has fought them on every single bit. And one of our Miles of Mayhem competitors, David Sidden, his full feature was last week, said he had a great day testing and tuning over the weekend at Thunder Mountain Raceway. The, the track is an eighth mile and is over 4,000 feet in elevation, so cars run a little slower there. I fixed the high RPM miss and sorted out launching off the trans brake. The car got consistently quicker throughout the day and ran a best of 834 at over 80 miles an hour. We have two features this week. Darcy Hanlon in the Cole Stang is up first. This crazy Cummins swapped Fox body is as budget as you can get. You can find a full build on his YouTube and Instagram under the same name. Cole Stang, again, C-O-A-L-S-T-A-N-G, and I've linked those down below. The car takes budget to the next level. Uh, when he purchased a car for 1000 turned around, sold the engine and transmission a few days later for 850 purchased a 94 12-valve donor truck for 1500 bucks. sold the body for 950 and the stereo a few weeks later for $300. He says the initial build was quick, nothing fancy, just stuffed it in there, meaning the 12-valve as fast and as cheap as possible. That's why I first chose to do non-intercooled, less fabrication, less weight. I didn't even run a fan or alternator for the first few months he drove it. Uh, he'd charge the battery to run the heater or headlights if he needed those, saying the battery would last about three days. He adds, to go fast on a budget, the magic is being lightweight. It's easier on parts and I don't need as much horsepower. The car has been 10.6 at 136 miles an hour. Car currently makes 650 wheel on 57 pounds of boost and 175 shot of nitrous. Darcy's limited to a 640 because of safety and says with the new trans brake, he should be able to run that easily. Most of the cars built with hand-me-downs and used parts. Power-driven diesel provided a billet input shaft that they had that they had twisted in a 1500 plus horsepower truck. Works perfectly in his car because his car is right at 3,000 pounds. He ended our conversation by saying that he wanted to give a huge shout out to his cousin Dean and Dean's son, Eric Branham, for helping put the car together. Team Z and Power Driven Diesel per, for parts and advice. And when he built the car, I thought it would be really cool because this 12 valve can drive right across North America and not break a sweat. He ended the event, he ended the 2021 Miles of Mayhem event with an average of a 7.5590. So more than a second faster this year. So that would be exciting to watch. Our second Miles of Mayhem car this week is Tony Buchert in the 53 Bel Air. Miles of Mayhem will be the third drag and drive event for the car and Tony's fifth event overall. Uh, he said he's owned the car since 2019 and had it out for the first time in 2020. When I asked why he built that car, he replied, I chose the car because I have always loved the Bel Air family of cars and because it's something that not everybody builds, mostly because it's heavy and most don't want a four-door, which he loves more for his family. That's what I love too. I love four-door cars because you can get everybody in them. Powertrain is a LS engine with a 98 103 precision and a power glide back in it with a gear vendor overdrive for all the highway miles. Suspension in the front is a bolt-in Mustang two clip. And in the rear, he has a, a Calvert split monoleaf and Caltrack bars. He's still deciding on what class to run, thinking of running the 580 index class, but a part of him wants to let it loose and try for low fives all week. He wants to give a shout out to his wife and kids, his old man, Jake, Keith and Brazier Racing and Machine. Now, 2021's event for Tony, uh, he ended with an average of 60050. So that's pretty awesome. He is actually number 14 on the 2021 eighth mile racer list.
All right, guys, as we lead into the busiest next few weeks of the Dragon Drive season, you guys have got to get out and get your merch. Make sure you, when you show up to the tracks for Race Week or Drag Week or One Guy's Garage or Carolina Drag Cruise or Street and Yeet, if you haven't done it yet, swing by the website dragondrive.com and pick up your Dragon Drive Addiction merch. Show your enthusiasm for your hobby at any local event or just like me, your regular daily job. Currently, we are running a special with free shipping on every order. 